Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Of course, my name is Kent and the channel is EOS San Diego. And today is May 7th, 2019. Like I said last night, I'd like to put a little perspective on my video so uh, people kind of know where it is or when it is when they look back on our videos so they can kind of tell uh, what the price was and what, what the news was at the time. May 7th, 2019. So, uh, as, as I just looked a little bit ago, EOS is still down below $5, which to me is very interesting uh, because it shouldn't be below $5 right now. However, by the time I post this video, it may because there's always a time between I make the video and when I actually post the video, but below $5, like I say, it shouldn't be there. And the reason why is because there's huge announcements coming up in June. In fact, Dan Larimer himself said they were game changers. And with uh, um, a market cap somewhere below four or five billion, I don't know where it's at, probably right around four or five billion, somewhere in that. That's about what they raised in their ICO. And I know they have a lot of that cash still around. So they have a lot of cash from a $4 billion ICO and, and, the, and the market cap isn't much better. So when you have major announcements, you have development taking place every single day, you have a blockchain that's operated smoothly for a year, and you got a price still around where it it uh, it, it started at. I mean, or a market cap around where it started at. That doesn't add up. Those numbers don't work. So I know the price hopefully will be going better. Of course, my opinion only. That's the reason why I just said that is because I wanted to give you some some foundation for why I believe that. Like I say, my opinion only, but I think price should be much much better. Uh, second thing I want to talk about tonight is I want to talk about the overall blockchain picture. I want to talk about the convergence of a number of events, which I feel is the reason blockchain has so much promise and will have so much future success. And, and I really kind of touched upon it a little bit last night by, by mentioning Warren Buffett. Uh, Warren Buffett is actually a stalwart in the investment um, field. I mean, he's, 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 he's the granddaddy, Warren Buffett. And when Warren Buffett starts mentioning things like blockchain, you know it's important. But what more so than that, I just want to talk about the issues, the problems that are going on in the world today facing, and how blockchain is the technology that the, the, the problems, the issues demand, must have. There's a void out there that needs to be filled. And the only way it's going to be filled is by new technology and new things, new hang happenings. And I think blockchain is the, is the answer. And the reason why is you have, you have money moving around the world it, it, that's that's not functioning at the rate that it needs to in order to handle the, the world economy. So money is trying to travel around the world, but we still have uh, delays. Uh, we still have uh, um, times for uh, money to clear. All these things aren't acceptable in a global society, in a global world, in a global global a global community. You just can't have seven day delays on money. You can't have banks clearing and not clearing you have you got to have you cannot have that dysfunction on a worldwide basis and have the world economy grow and continue to uh, uh, to be effective that's just not going to happen so the convergence of a number of events one of them is the movement of money around the world that has got to change uh, the second thing it's got to got to change about the world is the world has to be more transparent uh, if you don't have transparency in the world that nobody can do business. I think a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a week ago or so, I put a post about a gentleman that was working in, in the defense industry, and he was talking about how the defense contracting business was so hindered and so obstructed and slow, slow down by the inability for people to share information. And that's why he actually said blockchain is an, it's a messaging, a messaging um, system more than anything else because you're able to share information so the open ledger the ability to transparently show things to somebody someplace else somebody else in the world is absolutely vital for the world to continue to prosper and grow that's a converging event the, the money moving movement the ability to be transparent the ability to share information and the ability for people to all participate on a global global level that is an, an, an absolute necessity for the world to to grow and go, go go where it needs to go for the next level. So the other thing that needs to happen 
is the internet needs to become more efficient. The internet needs to have more of an openness about it. And that's what we call this next level internet because this is the opportunity for internet to be transparent, for, the, for, for internet not to be centralized in a, in a couple of major companies. Um, so the, there's a number, and like I, I always like to do my videos kind of about the macro and not the micro. I mean, we could talk about uh, new applications that are coming out, number of new applications coming out. I could talk about a gam gambling applications. I could talk about a, a lot of good things that are going on. I mean, not that everything's, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying one application is good over another thing. But I'm talking about the fact that the, the macro of this whole thing, which means the big picture, is, is that this needs to happen. The time has come. The technology needs to uh, develop. If it's not developed, it needs to be developed. And I believe it has developed, and that's developed through the blockchain. And through EOS, specifically, because I think EOS is the blockchain that has the, 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 the remedy for all the issues blockchain suffers from, all the stigma the blockchain suffers from. The, the lack of speed, um, um, the scalability, all these things that I think EOS provides a solution for. So, like I said last night with Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett is like old technology that's going away. Um, the EOS trans, uh, uh, blockchain is new technology that the world is needing and the world uh, it desires. Uh, that, that's stimulating the world. It can draw, grow and be prosperous. And, uh, borders to be eliminated. Currencies to be uh, to, to be retired, and and new things to come about. Opportunities for more people to be online. And see, it's interesting because Buffett is still old world, still thing you know, and still like I think a lot of people in the United States are. They still think of uh, jobs in terms of manufacturing. Uh, if we don't have manufacturing, we don't have jobs. But there's such a new world out there of technology that's going to bring so many more jobs to the world through technology. And you're just not going to have everybody in the world building something to sell to somebody else in the world uh, on a global basis because it's not equal uh, where you're building what you're building. I mean, when uh, before the times of, of worldwide um, commerce, countries could build for their own country but now we have a global system global society where certain parts of the world have an advantage over other parts of the world cheap labor cheap energy uh, less environmental controls less environmental rules and laws and if you have that um, and currency exchanges some currencies are more valuable than other that just does not put a level playing field for manufacturing so it doesn't allow everybody in the world to say we are our economy is based on manufacturing because it can't be there's, there's, there's too many barriers, too many hurdles. So new, to, new world, new technology, and that, that begs something like the blockchain to happen. That, no, that, that makes the blockchain uh, almost uh, inevitable. It makes the blockchain a technology that needs to happen for the world to continue to grow and be prosperous. So anyway, like I say, I like to talk a little bit about the big picture. That is the big picture in my opinion. Uh, and also the big picture in my opinion is that we're going much higher with EOS. I think uh, my opinion only, like I say, but to be at ICO money, ICO range and market cap a year later with big announcements coming, game-changing announcements coming, I think was uh, is definitely a begs for higher prices. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.